acute abdomen, diarrhea, constipation, and obstipation. They are common symptoms in abdominal diseases, but may be absent with advanced diseases like uh, uh, retrocecal or uh, anatomically isolated appendicitis. They precede the onset of pain in cases of gastroenteritis and some systemic illness not requiring emergency surgery. They are very prominent in cases of gastroenteritis, acute gastritis, acute pancreatitis, cholecystitis, uh, and high intestinal obstruction. They are present but not dominant symptoms in most of other acute surgical emergencies. When they are severe with reaching, this suggests laceration of the gastroesophageal junction, malarivae syndrome, esophageal perforation, perhaps syndrome. These diseases are very likely when they are severe with massive hematemesis, severe pain radiating to the chest and left shoulder. Absolute constipation for 24 to 48 hours plus abdominal distension plus uh, persistent vomiting is suggestive of intestinal obstruction. Obstruction is excluded on absence of distension and vomiting. Diarrhea points to gastroenteritis, but it may be a dominant symptom in pelvic appendicitis. Bloody and repetitive diarrhea points to colonic ulcerations, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, amoebic or biliary dysentery, all should be considered first. Bloody diarrhea is a common sign of colonic ischemia, but it is often absent in superior mesenteric thrombosis with extensive gangrene of the large and small bowel. Good luck and best wishes.